In Live Tracker, you can bring in pretty much any type of video clip, at least I've found all the popular formats work, to play on an external screen such as maybe a video projector or an LED wall behind your band as you play. This can be really cool. To add video, just go to Edit Song. We'll go ahead and we will, I'm going to get rid of some of these. No, I'll leave them as they are. We'll go to Video Track here at the bottom, plus, then go Find Your Video. And just like everything else, I'm going to use some Beeple DJ clips. You can find these online. Well, I guess the pouring coins. I've used this one before. And then what you're going to do is um, set up your external monitor. Okay, so we go to Preferences, turn on our external monitor. It should then pop up. I have both the Lyric and that on there, so I'm just going to get rid of the Lyric just in case that causes issues. And then I should see my external monitor. Oh, I had it minimized, so there it pops up right here. And then, simply put, I can go and play it. And I get my video play. Now, by default, as you saw, that was a video loop, and it just played through once. So we do have some playback settings on that video that we can use. For, for example, we can just set it to loop. In sequencer view, then, we can go ahead and drag it out. Oops, lost it there. As long as we want, and it will snap to the size of the track. If we don't select a loop, it's going to actually stretch that out. So this is a two-second clip, and if I hadn't done a loop, it would be blinky and show individual frames and not be um, very smooth because I was taking a two-second clip and dragging it out to two and a half minutes. That's not going to work well, right? Um, other than that, ratio, you could set up your horizontal vertical positions here um, if you need to mess with stuff. And then you can set up global preferences for every video. So if you find yourself going to venues and you need to adjust like the ratio, the size of the video or the horizontal or vertical, you can do that globally and enable that in all your videos and then they'll automatically all resize. Um, but for most things, I find just using the screen and sizing it to the size of an external monitor on your computer um, and then just letting that play tends to work fine. As I mentioned, we're now looping, so I changed, saved my settings, press play. As we now see it playing and looping, it is pretty trippy because that's the kind of a DJ loop that that is, but it illustrates the point you can use any video clip uh, within your show in Live Tracker. It could be a music video, it could just be a visualizer background like that, or really anything you want to. Not only that, but in the editor here, if you have multiple videos, you can bring them in as different video tracks and adjust their position on the timeline accordingly, and you'll be good to go. It's really that simple. In our next couple videos, we're going to talk a little bit deeper about the audio and monitoring here in Live Tracker, starting with creating monitor mixes. We'll see you guys there. And remember, if you like these videos and if you do want to buy or at least try out Live Tracker, follow my links below. Uh, not only can I get you 5% off uh, using my coupon code, but if you go through my link, and you've got to go through my link to get this, uh, it's going to send a small commission my way if you decide to purchase and no additional cost to you. And so that's a huge thing that helps out the channel because, you know, ultimately I put these out here for free and I hope you learn something from it. And if you do, um, I would appreciate if you would buy through this link if you do decide to buy Live Tracker. Awesome. Let's dive into creating monitor mixes.